Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business podcast, where each episode we're walking you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In today's episode, we're going to talk about why you might want to start a small business in the first place. Now, listen, I'm going to assume that you are thinking of starting a small business. Maybe you're thinking of starting a handyman business, a dog grooming business, or maybe you're thinking of landscaping or cleaning homes. Whatever you are kicking around, the first thing you want to do is ask yourself, why are you even starting this small business in the first place? Most folks who start a small business do so because they want to be their own boss, but it is more than that. They might see a need in their local community and they know they can fill it. They might decide to build a business around a skill set they have or maybe a passion of theirs. It also could be that they currently work for someone else and they just know that they can run a much better business and they see that there is so much more potential the business could possibly have. So why not be them? Here's the cool thing. You can build a business that creates some great income if you're dedicated enough because it's not going to be easy. You will probably work harder than you ever have in your entire life. There's a running joke. The worst boss you'll ever have is the one in the mirror. Now, you're probably wondering how much money can you make? Well, that depends on a few things. For example, what type of business do you plan to start? Will you be full-time or part-time? And since every business has different sales numbers that they have, it's, it's going to depend. Ultimately, listen, it's not about having those high tickets. It's about the profit you keep. That honestly is going to tell you how much money you make because so many people get hung up saying, oh, I can't make this happen because I'm not going to have a huge ticket. One has nothing to do with the other. Honestly, it's all about how can you scale your business and how can you make it profitable? That's what matters. The important thing is you need to take the time to learn your business numbers early and start from the very beginning because you need to make sure that you are priced correctly from the get-go. This is by far the biggest reason that a lot of small business owners struggle to make a good start of their business and to start making money right away. Now, there's going to be an episode dedicated to this topic, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but I will tell you that since I firmly believe that every small business owner can create a $100,000 profitable business, if they continuously learn how to run a better business, I promise you, we're going to show you some ways that you can do that. And like I've said in the previous episode, check out the Badass Business Owner podcast and the YouTube channel, because that's where I'm constantly showing you ways on how to level up your business so that you can make the good money. Now, while you can start any type of business today in this amazing internet world, I'm a huge fan of starting a business that serves your local community. I think it takes a special person to become a local small business owner. These businesses are critical to keeping the communities humming along, and they're usually the ones that people turn to when they are most in need. And while many jobs are being replaced by technology, most local small businesses will continue to need folks like yourself to run them. While technology has improved the way we do the jobs, they still require a person to execute them. For example, dog groomers, plumbers, handyman, window cleaners, nail salons, and a host of many others will continue to remain people-based for a very long time. Think about how many businesses that are out there that impact homeowners alone. More than half of our local small businesses are done in and around the home. Landscapers, cleaners, handymen, plumbers, electricians, pool cleaners, deck cleaners, fence, garage repair, pest control, carpet cleaning are just a few of the ones that are out there. Not to mention the growing list of mobile businesses that are booming where we now take our businesses to the homeowners such as pet grooming and auto glass repair. A lot of businesses are now on the move, including mechanics and a few others. The other half of our small local business owners are the mom and pop places around town, not to mention all of the food places in your town that are run by local people. Think about how many times you recommend folks to your local donut shop, the ice cream place, the corner breakfast dive. These are the types of people that are running local small businesses. And many of these local businesses are passed along from generation to generation. Now, the cool thing about owning your own business is you get to be your own boss. And if you're tired of working for others, then starting a small business is a great way to break free and create your own dream career. Yes, you can set your own hours, set your own prices, and you have no one to blame but that person in the mirror. You can work as little or as much as you want to, and you can work as hard as you want to, and you can help whoever you want to within reason. 
If you want to earn more money, just continue to improve the business. No longer do you have to wait for a 2% raise. You can earn as much as you want to do, but it is not going to be easy. I could go on and on about all the great reasons you should start a small business because there's never been a better time to start a small business. But like I said, it's not going to be easy and you need to understand that. And with so many people worrying about this crazy world and what comes next, having your own business ensures you get to be in charge of your future versus somebody else. Now I'm going to wrap this one up because in our next episode, we're going to talk about which type of business is best for you and which one you should open. So don't forget to grab that free startup guide in the show notes and let's head on over to the next episode where we're going to dive in a little bit more.